Hello, it's my pleasure today to talk to you about MR guided intervention. Why do we want to use MR for intervention or procedures? Well, MR offers a unique advantage of imaging soft tissue in ways that other imaging platforms cannot. We can see the lesions better so that we can see the tumors. We can also image these tumors in any plane we want or need. No radiation aspects to MR imaging, and this allows us to re-image in the same plane or multiple planes as many times as we need to. Some of the disadvantages in the past have been the length of time that it takes to acquire the images, the lack of compatible equipment, and the lack of physician familiarity with the equipment. However, all these have changed such to where MRI is faster than it ever has been now, and we have more compatible equipment for the MR than ever before. Furthermore, physicians have become more and more familiar working in this environment. This is a good example of why MR is so powerful in seeing the lesion. Here we have a tumor in the liver shown on MRI on the left, and we can see with corresponding images by ultrasound and CT, this tumor is totally invisible. So the MR allows us to see the tumor to target it, and then once we target it, the MR allows us to thoroughly monitor the ablation so that we can treat it effectively. The MR compatible treatment modalities that we have here at Mayo are MR guided cryoablation, MR guided laser ablation, MR guided focused ultrasound, and recently added MR guided microwave. Where are we using these treatments? Well, honestly, we're using them all over the body, but more specifically, we're using them in the kidney, the liver, mesentery, prostate, vagina, spine, bone, brain, and vascular malformations all over the body. In conclusion, MR guidance uses the advantages of better soft tissue resolution and specialized MR imaging to be able to plan for treatment better, to target the tumors better, monitor the ablation in the best possible way, and to control that ablation so that we treat what we want to treat and do not treat anything that we want to stay away from. And then it allows us also to thoroughly assess our treatment afterwards. But out of all of these, MR offers the most powerful mechanism to monitor our ablations so that we can try to achieve the best possible treatment for the tumor. Thank you.